Hi, welcome to our knowledge session on OData. OData is a technology that was introduced into NAV in 2013 and is available in Business Central that allows you to get access to your Business Central data from other external reporting tools. Today we're going to look at how you would publish OData from your BC system and how you consume it in tools such as Excel and Power BI. In 2013, Microsoft introduced to Dynamics NAV a new technology called OData. OData is a web service technology that allows you to take data from inside Business Central and expose it in a standard format that other systems can read and use. Uh, it's an industry standard, it's nothing um, special to NAV, lots of systems use this um, and it really is a nice way to integrate and pull data out of um, systems and expose them and use them in other places. And it's really great for reporting. So to enable OData you have to set it up in your um, server. This is usually done by default but if not you know, we can um, get that done, give us a shout. Once you've got that set up, you can then decide which pages in the system you want to display. So I'd like to do some reporting based on inventory. So I know that I have an item list. What I'd really like is to be able to take the information displayed in this item list and use it in Excel and in other places. The key thing to note here is whenever you look at a page, a list inside Business Central, it's showing you some key columns. However, there are lots of columns it isn't showing you that you can enable um, using the personalized function. So when I click on personalize and go to fields, we'll see on the right hand side will appear a list of fields that are available for me to put on this page. So here I can see all of these fields, indirect cost, vendor item number, etc, etc, are all ready to be placed and I can drag and drop them onto the page. Now the key thing is when we talk about OData, OData doesn't worry about whether the field is visible on the page or not, only that it's there. So when we use this OData technology, we'll get not only the things I see here, but everything else that's listed as available on that page. So to make this page available through this web service, through OData to other systems, I need to go to my web services list. In web services I can click on new and I can add a page. So I can add web services of type query, page or code units. Page is the most common uh, for users because it's the data you see in front of you. And I want to add the item uh, list. So I know that I need to search for items. That's my one. And I'm going to give it a name. Well, item seems a good name. And all I need to do is click on this checkbox which is publish. And by doing that, I'll get these URLs, these addresses. Now these addresses, if I copy it and open up a new tab in my browser, you'll see it's got some format. It tells me where my server is and it tells me which comp company I'm looking at and what data. And when I press enter, the first thing it asks me is to log in. Clearly, because I'm going to access this from outside, I need to be authenticated. We don't just want anyone looking at our information inside Business Central. So I'm going to log in with my credentials. This is my normal login credentials. And once it does that, it goes off and asks Business Central to give it back all the information from that page. And it does it in a fairly techy format. So here, looking at it, that's not particularly useful. It's not a great way, way to view information through a web browser. But this information, this code, this text, is formatted in a really nice, simple way that allows other systems to read it. The important thing is that address. So, let's go into Excel. Excel has native support for OData, it has for many years. So it can read that text, that code, and use it as a source of data inside Excel. I simply go to my data tab, click on get data, and there's various different options here. The one we're looking for is under from other sources. Different versions of Excel have this in different places. Um, you may have a hunt around a bit, but in the latest version it's under other sources and I want to use this OData feed. When I do this, it'll ask me what's my address. Well, I'm going to paste in the address that I just got from that web services list in Business Central, the OData one, and click on OK. This is going to then try and get the data from Business Central. The first thing it'll ask me again is how do I authenticate? Now there's various different options here. Um, depending on your configuration in Business Central, you may be able to use your Windows login or your organizational account. That's Office 365. But in this example, I'm going to use a basic authentication. So I'm going to type in my username and password and I'm going to click on 
connect. And then it's going off and it's read that data. Now, there's a bit of a difference. Instead of seeing it as a big bunch of text, it's now worked out that these are columns and fields and those sorts of things. And you can see all the data from Business Central is now available, even those fields that weren't visible on the page. So at the simplest level, I click on Load, and I can bring in to Business Central all that data from the item list. You can see it loaded 225 rows, and I can see I have a Connections and Queries tab over here. The nice thing with this is this is live data. So whenever I want, I can click on here and go to my table, and I can either edit the query, or I can go up here and refresh the data. By doing that, it's going to go and pull through the latest information from Business Central. So if information had changed in any of the values on here, much like reloading the item list inside Business Central, I get that same information here. So at the moment, I've got a table of data, which is nice, but it's not particularly reporty. It's really a data source. It's a, it's a database, if you will. And the best way to look at data in, in Excel is using pivot tables. If you haven't looked at pivot tables before, they're really powerful, especially when you've got a big set of data you want to kind of slice and dice. So I can click anywhere in my table I got from Business Central, click on Insert, and then go to Pivot Table. And it says, what do you want to use for your range of data? Well, it's the query. Yep, that's the query I pulled out from the OData source. And I want to put it into a new worksheet. Click on OK. And now I've got a blank pivot table. For those of you familiar with pivot tables, this is, should be fairly straightforward. But if you're not, really what you have to decide is what goes down my left, what are my rows, and what are my columns, and then what filters I want to apply. So for this, I want to do some um, reporting based on items and item categories. And I want to look at my inventory. So I'm going to search for um, the item category code, and I'm going to put that as my row. So now I've got all the unique item categories. Next up, in the middle, I want my inventory. So I'm going to pop that as a value. And you can see I've now got inventory total by item category. Really easy, really quickly. And it's live data. Whenever I want to refresh it, I can go pull that data and look date. So I can save this Excel document anywhere I like now onto my computer and refresh it. And it'll just go and pull that information directly out of Business Central. I can also include across the top um, some other columns. So at the moment, I've, I've got no columns, only a value in rows. So I'm going to put my posting groups across the top. Now I've got my inventory split out by item category grouped by posting groups. So I can see all my retail items versus my raw materials. Lastly, with pivot tables, I might want to have some filters. I'd like to only see items for particular suppliers. So I can do this either by adding a filter to my pivot table or I can use this insert slicer option. Now this is a uh, a better way, a nicer way of um, slicing your data. So here I can go through and say I'd like to use my vendor number, press OK, and I get a nice vendor number slicer. So here I can say, I, at the moment I'm looking at all data from all my suppliers. If I click on one of them, now my chart, my pivot table changes to see only that supplier. I can select multiple if I like, and now I'm seeing across those uh, vendors, and I can again flick back to see all of them or none of them. So within a few clicks, I've exposed my Business Central data to Excel, pulled it in, and made a simple report. But as ever, we might want some graphical information here. So if I click on my pivot table, a nice another feature of um, Excel is I can go into my pivot table tools, into Analyze, and I can say I'd like to insert a pivot chart. I can choose my type. So this time I'm going to use, let's say, a 3D clustered column. And I can pop that on there as well. So now I've got a report with some data, a slicer, and a chart. And if I click in, all that information changes. So I can now flick through and see how my chart changes based on the things I'm slicing by. And that's a really simple example. You could obviously take this a lot further, doing a lot more slices, a lot more uh, complex maths um, and sums and calculations in here. But at the simple start, getting your data from Business Central, pulling it out and representing it into Excel so you can use the full power of Excel, 
This is a really quick and easy way to do it on any version of NAV since 2013.